guys, Roto Deal here and welcome to my living room. Today we have an interesting quadcopter. Take a look at this guy. I know you think it resembles a different quadcopter that's very famous uh, and it actually does. It has a 720p camera, Wi-Fi transmitting camera and also as you can see here it has the similar design that we have on the world famous <coughs> drone. So you have a power off on switch over here and you have a battery bay. Basically this is a proprietary battery and uh, to charge it up you will also get obviously the charger. I'll also uh, get it flying today so stay with us. If you are first time on the channel please subscribe because I have tons more of gadgets coming up. This is the box itself. Uh, here I actually can see that the company who produces this is Cofight. And uh, this is the quadcopter, obviously. We got an altitude hold micro quadcopter with 720, uh, 720p uh, camera. And also you get extra spare propellers, the manual and propeller guard. So you can uh, definitely keep this guy uh, running even if you crash it. So I'll just get everything running up and also install the app and everything that we need to get uh, flying in the air and show you the app itself. You are more than invited to press on the like button if you got to this point of the video. And that's it, give me three seconds and we are up in the air. Yeah, so okay, I got everything running up. This is the remote control with my mobile phone, six inch mobile phone on it. So it's pretty huge as you can see. The quadcopter is over here. Everything is really connected. All I had to do is just open up the, uh, basically uh, power up the quadcopter and then connect to its Wi-Fi network via my phone and that's it. And to get it uh, up in the air, all I have to do is press on the launch quadcopter button and I'm just gonna take it down so you can see the quadcopter now. Um, this is basically indoor flight, so you will get a bit of deviation when you get the quadcopter uh, near the floor. And I hope, I hope you can uh, hear the quadcopter like I am. And also, as you can see now, it's an altitude hold quadcopter. This means that I don't have to touch my altitude stick but only to change its position because of the high winds that the uh, quadcopter produces it has a shift in deviation that you can basically fix uh, by using the tilt button, trim button like, I, like you just saw. So I'm just gonna trim it uh, to have a perfect balance between everything in a moment. So that's it, as you can see, almost, almost, that's it. Quadcopter is perfectly trimmed and I can fly it around uh, the house. I like the way it flies, I must say. It feels like it has a uh, very good balancing. As you can see, I'm flying it in a really close uh, area. And also I'm getting the HD uh, video from the quadcopter. And over the area where I'm close to my TV is the Wi-Fi router for the house. This is why we are seeing interferences in terms of uh, the Wi-Fi uh, image. I'm gonna start recording anyway. And the camera on this quadcopter is a wide angle camera. This is something that is uh, basically will get you a better video and I'm just gonna Oh, I'm just gonna crash my quadcopter. I'm just gonna Oh, I'm just gonna crash my quadcopter as you just saw. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna turn on headless next time to take videos of myself. Uh, let's try to get it up in the air again. So nothing happens first cra nothing happened first crash. Quadcopter flies really well, everything is good enough, we are safe. So yeah, what, whenever you're flying over objects, something you need to note is that uh, you will basically have to compensate for the winds. Uh, this is something that I'm trying to do right now and probably gonna fail again. Okay, so I have managed to fail myself, I guess. Yay! So I wouldn't recommend flying indoors uh, for the first time, definitely because this quadcopter has enough uh, power to fly outdoors like you are, you are seeing right now. And uh, before I cut my head, no, it's actually doing good. Attitude hold is wor working very well. And you can also turn on the headless feature. I'm just going to show you that to get it uh, basically uh, to get it to film yourself using the headless button up on top and that's this one so now i'm basically using headless this means that when i turn the quadcopter i'm still in full control 
Um, basically, the quadcopter behaves like the back of the, the quadcopter is still uh, facing me. And you get these uh, annoying beeps almost in most of the quadcopters that I have checked. Like in this one. <laughs> but it works very well. Headless mode is working. Uh, if you want to turn it off, always make sure that you are facing back. So you are changing the quadcopter to face you again. And then turn off the quadcopter. If you want to turn off the headless. If you want to do some flips. Press the flip button and cross your fingers that you won't get killed. Let's see. Working very well. Almost destroyed my TV, but it's uh, doing a good job here. So yeah, it gets back to its uh, original height. And uh, I'm very, actually, I think this code copy is very good. I'm actually excited to test it out outside. I kind of didn't fly anything in the last uh, six months in the house. So this is why I'm recording this video uh, here indoors, just to check out a new quadcopter that can fly basically indoors. Uh, this quadcopter size is uh, micro based, so I think you can also try to fly it outside because uh, the motors here are bigger than most of the micro quads. Uh, one thing you don't have on this quadcopter, like the original quadcopter that this uh, guy is basically trying to replicate is that it doesn't have position hold this is why i'm basically using my right thumb every second to move the quadcopter or balance it for example now i'm drifting away to the right so i have to balance it and i can also use the trim buttons but uh, you know that's uh, something that you have to deal with when you don't have position hold i think it's doing quite well Flies very well, don't feel uh, like I have any risk for my life. I'm going to stop the recording so I get everything saved and uh, take some photos. I'm going to turn on headless mode back again. Now I'm facing myself. Could have just asked my wife to take that photo, but uh, what the heck, you know. I never get uh, what's the real purpose of... Uh, flying uh, videography uh, quadcopter indoors because uh, this is basically the height that you can get your phone or mobile or your camera to get your photos so that's uh holy shit <laughs> okay so good thing i'm using headless because uh, i totally lost orientation with this guy right now but still works very good i kind of wish i could stop the headless beeps uh, like I have in many quadcopters these days, but all in all, I like the way it flies. I'm gonna try now the auto land feature, which is here on the remote. We are going to land on the table. That's it. Very quick landing. Gonna turn off the headless feature. Gonna turn and gonna uh, launch the quadcopter back again with the auto uh, lift off. Auto launch, so that's it. Quadcopter is back in the air. Uh, one thing I gotta tell you if you're using trim buttons, make sure that uh, you basically uh, de trim it once you go outside or inside because if you have high winds and you're using trims to compensate, uh, whenever you're gonna launch this guy again, you're basically gonna have a different weather scenario, so you don't wanna stick with the same trim. But all in all, a really good job, uh, really good product with this uh, quadcopter. I just want to try another thing, which is uh, basically going to land it over here. Oh, th this one was very close. Going to use the calibration method. So now basically it finished calibrating and going to launch it back in the air. Just to see the effect of calibration to the quadcopter. Feels a bit more balanced with the gyros. I'm just going to try to have it 100% trimmed. Yeah, almost. That's it. Quadcopter is almost holding position and does a really good job, as you can see, holding position. We have a bit of a drift because of my hand, but this is a perfect position. Uh, this is a perfect trimming for the quadcopter, as you can see. Just flies amazing. I think this is not like the smallest micro quad obviously that you can get, but let's check out its uh, engine stop procedure. Yeah, 
quadcopter stops its engines when you hold it and uh, basically turn it over and we are now also seeing the low battery warning for the quadcopter so we did get lots of flight time with this guy and uh, we still have Wi-Fi as you can see everything works very well in terms of uh, functionality of this quadcopter which is 3D flips headless mode and I like it and the uh, attitude hold is working uh, very good I am going to put some uh, links in the description of this video for this quadcopter and the one that it's basically trying to replicate so check these links down below out and also I'm putting two links over here that's it two videos over here for you to watch are basically two uh, videos that I think you'll have high interest in if you watch this one and if it's the first time for you in this channel press on that button over here that's gonna be get you basically subscribed I was Roto Dylan I'm gonna see you on our next videos bye bye